I say we're working overtime on that, what I mean by that is I'm hoping in the next number of days to be able to more specifically answer that question because of our commitment to let these kids back out on the field of play. That said, on the issue of backlogs, we went through backlog through a strike team at EDD. We identified 1.65 million backlogged cases. We were able to get through all but 110 of those, 110 from 1.6 plus million. And we've been able to close that backlog. Now we're making real progress, but that backlog again is dynamic. That was the old backlog. Over the course of the last few weeks, we have cumulative examples, and I'm sure those are the ones you've cited as it relates to efficiently getting those checks out. But do not be naive that we have to do so in a way that addresses this rampant fraud we've seen all across the United States. So we want to do that with verification, and we want to do it with the sophistication of understanding that we have since last October when we began the process of changing our protocols as it relates to the distribution of the same. Governor, uh, you mentioned the City College, I believe. Do you mean Fresno City College will be the Optum Serve site? And if so, where, how many will we get at that site? How many vaccinations daily? Yeah, we're, we're starting at 420 on the first day. We're building up from that. Uh, so get a sense, thousands a week. We want to do more than that. That's what we're starting. We'll get you the exact address and we'll get you the exact date. My hope is to get it. it I have a date. That's the 18th. I'm hoping to deliver before the 18th. In fact, I'm confident we will. If you want to socialize this, say the 18th, but Im I imagine the chances are substantially uh, high that we'll get it done before the 18th, but that's when we contractually uh, have demanded it. Can I ask if those doses come out of the county's allocation and will the county's allocation remain where it is for this coming week or will it potentially fall back down again? Well, everything's dynamic. It depends on what the state of California gets. Again, state doesn't have doses of vaccines. The federal government distributes those vaccines through their networks. Again, McKesson and Pfizer directly. And so based upon what we know, Yes, we can anticipate a similar amount of vaccines based upon what the federal government has told us in terms of the visibility over the next few weeks. As it relates to new vaccines, the community clinic vaccines will be additive. The site we will announce with the Biden administration will be additive. The efforts at the pharmacies will be additive. As it relates to the Optum serve, it will come from existing allocations. Governor Jim Jacobs with GV Wire. I wanted to talk to you about the planning aspect of this. You mentioned we're getting 19,000 vaccines this week in Fresno County. It was 8,000 the prior couple of weeks before that. The difficulty that our planning uh, had, or our county health department has had, is planning ahead. They say that they get the, the dump Thursday morning of how much vaccine we're getting the next week. Can you assure counties that they're going to get a three week look ahead? at how much vaccine they're going to be getting for a three-week period so that they can plan more effectively uh, for distribu distribution. That's exactly, that's exactly our resolve. That's our commitment. And having just received that ourselves as a state, we're now providing that window at the local level. Now, let me just say this. The purpose of the third-party administrator, the contract, by the way, will be made public this week. I know people are eager to see the contract provisions. Next week, it goes into effect on the 15th will provide much more transparency and much more accountability to these numbers and allocations in a stronger and more clear window as it relates to that three-week visibility. But based upon what we know, there should be similar allocations based upon this week's allocations, based again on the assurances from the Biden administration. But this is dynamic. And as you know well, we've had fits and starts over the course of the last few months.